Hey, you Don, what are we gonna do today? Well, today is a special kind of day. Today what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to make a Brunswick stew, Appalachian Don style. I like to call it the Donswick stew. But anyway, we're gonna get the meat ready. We're gonna get all the vegetables, the maters, everything. We're gonna throw it off in that pot here in a little bit. We're gonna make us a little goulash. We ain't gonna tell you everything, but we'll tell you a little bit. Not everything, just a little bit. And I'll see you soon. It's your boy, Appalachian Don. Can't get butter from a duck. Blood from a turnip green. Ain't nothing changed. Country like a butter bean. A Appalachian bread. Hound dog king. Pops taught me get it. Then by get it, he meant any means. But God rest his soul. I gotta keep it moving. I stay above the mud hole so I can keep from losing. Got a knack for catching blue gills. A thing for cooking Brunswick stew. If it ain't got some snapping turtles, that just ain't gonna get it done. Country in the fall time. That mean we gon' ball time. Try we got some more. Chicken quarters. You can use whatever you want. I like chicken quarters because it puts off better broth. Cook, cook, puts off a, a, a oilier, oi, oi, an oilier broth. I think I said that right. That's the redneck renovation. Anyway, no, I, I, uh, I think it puts off a better stock. So I use uh, leg quarters. I got some thighs in there. I got a whole turkey in there too. I'm trying something different this time. So this ain't my natural recipe. But this is pretty close. Good stuff. But yeah, right now we got a little bit of got some leg quarters. We got a turkey in there. We're getting this and ready. We finna boil some beef and pork. I boil mine separate. Okay. I boil mine separate for a reason because I like to use chicken stock. Some folks like to use the stock from their beef. Some folks boil it all together. My neighbor boils all his together. But I boil mine different. Even my turtle, I boil my turtle separate. I don't use my turtle broth at all, or my beef or pork. But I do use my chicken broth. Okay. Just because I, I mean, let's face it, you can't beat a good old bowl full of chicken noodle soup or a good old bowl of chicken soup. Come on, man, that's good stuff. It's because of chicken stock. Love chicken stock. It came off of Bambi. <laughs> good old, about five pounds of. Deer, deer leg, good young deer, about five pounds there. I usually split that with my beef. If I, if I ain't got beef, I usually double, double. If I don't have a uh, deer, I usually double the beef. Just go buy you a Boston butt or a picnic ham, whatever size you want. I'm making a big one, so it's hard for me to give you my sizes, uh, my ratios and stuff. So I'm just making a big one. Hey. And it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be prudent to not use one of these. A box knife. Hey man, if 15 jihads can take over four planes with a box knife, imagine we can skin us up a deer. Couldn't <laughs> I reckon that's what them were jihads, wasn't it? That's what. That's right. That's what they call them. That's what they call themselves. I call them human beings, part of the human race. They just don't know no better. They don't want to know no better. That's the bad part. They just don't want to know better. Right. I can't understand it myself, man. I love this country. It's beautiful. God's, God's country, country right my here. Boy, my boy Poe said, God, right. a little bit of, had a chance to sit with my buddy Poe last week. Sit around and talk and knock out a few tunes. Well, I ain't going to say a few tunes, but sit around, sing a little bit. And we came up with a little something. Y'all be ready, it's coming. Be a little while, y'all, I'll take my time. But uh, be ready, it's coming. God's country, and I'm sure he's gonna want it back. Tender, we're gonna take it off and we're gonna debone it. After we get through with the deboning process, the magic begins. I'm gonna let y'all see a little bit of that magic, but I am gonna let you see some magic. What's the goose's name? Luna. Luna. You enjoying your swim time there, Luna? This is the Luna bird in her natural habitat. <laughs> we even got her a mirror over there. She'll get over there, she'll shake herself in front of the mirror. <laughs> cool as hell. All the meat. Process one, boiling the meat. 
Meat is boiled. Now I'll let it cool. Debone it. We're gonna take the bone out of it. Completely. No bone. Look what we did to Bambi. <laughs> and we'll do it again. Where's the beef? <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna let this meat cool down now. I think we about got everything out of it. We'll let this meat cool down. I still gotta boil the turtle. Turtle. Yeah, we're gonna boil this, uh, take this chicken out too. It's all done. And, uh, we're gonna get ready to grind some meat here shortly. And we're gonna do that the Appalachian Dawn way. Put a grinder. We grinding all our stuff. We buy whole tomatoes because they're cheaper. And then we just grind them. It's gonna be the same thing. But what now we doing now is we making a base. We making a base for our stew. The meat's already boiled. You use an electric grinder, you don't know what, <coughs> like when you get bogged down with meat, I always save you a little bit of this. Helps clean, helps lube the gears a little bit. Like I said, what we're doing is now is we are uh, we making a base for our stew, a tomato base. I mean, I can't think, I can't think of no other, no other, another way to put it. It's got to be done with tomatoes. Got to be. This is your base. This is your main base. And ketchup too. Don't forget the ketchup. You know what your mama said, boy? You want ketchup on them fries? But yeah. This is our base. It's our tomato base. And no base is complete without that Louisiana hot sauce. The perfect hot sauce. I stand by it. Ask my boy Poe about that. Tell him about it, Big Poe. See, look at him. We even ground the corn up. Yeah, you gotta have corn in it too. I don't care what you say. But all that sweet pea and lima beans, I don't put that in my brother's too. And you shouldn't either. But anyway, y'all get ready, come on. We'll be putting this base together next. We'll be putting the meat in. And we're gonna show y'all what a good old goulash tastes like. Appalachian Dawn style. See you in a bit. Have a good one. Ow. See you anymore. See you Mmm. I'll tell you, this is Appalachian goodness. Get you some of this Dunswick stew. I ain't playing. I'm telling you, be ready here for too long. About dark 30. Whoa, whoa, them bellies will be right. Texas toast, sir. Look here. Represent GT baby. Woo woo. Y'all get on out though. It's the boy Appalachian Dawn. I'll see you here in just a bit. There, come dig it, boy. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Well, this is where the fun begins. Right here, in this pot. See this? It's like the witch's brew. That's me thought he's me highly stew. Yeah. Come on, buddy. I told you, you're not gonna mess with a leprechaun because we'll steal all of your Brunswick stew and we'll take your gold. To be continued. See y'all shortly. It's your boy, Appalachian Dawn. www.appalachiandawn.com. www.appalachiandawn.com. Hey, come dig it, boy. There we go. Ooh. All right. Next thing, season. Well, make sure you season it right. Like the pepper. Don't be scared to use a little pepper. Of course, any meal has got to have salt. This I use uh, sea salt. Don't be scared. And probably the most important ingredient.
Red pepper flakes. Now you uh, you got to choose how much of that you want to use too. But that's how much I want to use. Right now. Hey man, y'all get ready. Stu's going down. Appalachian Dawn. Wouldn't tell you wrong. I'll tell you right. I'll tell it to you two or three different ways before I lie to you. Y'all be good though. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Let y'all come taste this good. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Now what we doing? Now it's time for our broth. This is how you calculate how much stew you're gonna have. This is very key. As I said earlier, I keep only my chicken broth. You can use whatever broth you want, but I just prefer to use chicken broth. You just wanna keep pouring it in there till you get it to a consistency that you like. Now it's time to turn your heat back on. I failed to mention earlier, while you're doing this process here, getting all your, your stuff together, make sure your heat's off. And also, don't heat it too long, because if you heat too long in one spot, you wanna keep staring. You wanna stare steadily, constantly, almost. Because if it sticks to the bottom of your pan, you're gonna scorch the stew, and there's nothing worse than scorched stew. But we ain't gonna scorch it, because that ain't what we do. Ask about me now. Ask about me. Ask about me. Yes, I got it while I go on mine, too. I cut that shit off of mine. <laughs> that, that last time I was looking for that whoever, and at 2 o'clock in the morning when that thing went off, I said, what the hell was this shit? No, I don't. What the? What the? How's that taste? Got it going on. Got it going on, he said. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. It's good down here. Huh? I like spice from You all right, little man? Yeah. It's good. Is it good? We think, Roberto. Oh yeah? Yeah. Well there y'all have it. Very, very happy and satisfied folks at the Appalachian Dawn Camp on this Appalachian stoop. But I'm gonna get on up out of here. Y'all be on the lookout. Appalachian Dawn. Music coming soon. I'm gonna get my uh, my kind of songs. Great album. You ready for the new stuff coming? Coming for uh, Appalachian On, Hick Life Entertainment, HickHotMusic.com. See y'all. Appreciate you. Y'all have a good night. Daggum diggable. With some Appalachian swamp and a little bit of moonshine. Keep it country kicking in the sticks in the meantime. And by the morning, it's gonna be alright. Right. Right.